Hi, it's Ms. Mora, and I'm here today from the Metuchen Public Library for Friday Take 5 for the Young Adult section. Today, I will be reading from What Janie Found by Carolyn B. Cooney. So if I'm looking in the card catalog, I would type in the title, What Jane Found. And I'd hit search. And then from there, I would go to items owned by Metuchet, or you can choose whatever library you're from. And I can either scroll down to see it right there, or I can change it to the field to title to even make that more specific. Items owned by Metuchen. And then you see the book right there. Let's start with page five. Beachburger, said Brian Spring quickly. He loved that place. It had its own oceanfront, a tiny little 20 foot stretch of rock, and you could get your hamburger and fries and milkshake and leave your socks and shoes in the car and crawl over the wet slimy rocks and slippery green seaweed and sit with your toes in the tide. Of course, you had to get back in the car with wet pants, sticky salty skin, but he loved the smell of it. The sea scent you carried home and then sadly had to shower off. Brian felt so included here. It was weird to be part of a large family, like his own family in New Jersey, and yet never feel included. Up here visiting Janie, his sister, but not part of his family, he felt strangely more welcome. That wasn't quite fair. What he felt was less useless. He missed his older brother, Stephen, badly, but Stephen was not going to return in any real way. A night here, a week there, but Stephen was gone. Brian's twin was no company at all, still a shock to Brian, who had thought they would be best friends all their lives. Brendan had not noticed Brian for a whole year. And with the close of school and the end of baseball, Brendan, of course, was captain and in his pitching won the local and regional championships they even got to the semifinals. And now summer training camps, basketball and soccer, well, the best Brian could do was stand around and help fold his brother's jeans when he packed. Brendan even said that, at least you know how to fold t-shirts, said Bren, although I don't screw around with that myself, I just shove them in. And the other good reason for going to Beach Burger was that Brian wanted food in his hands so that he wouldn't leap forward and yank that file folder out of Janie's hands. Because he knew in his gut that she had found something important and everything important to Janie was important to Brian's family, her other family. But Brian at this moment did not feel a lot of affection for his own family. No matter what he did there, he was just last in line. He was sick of it. Up here in Connecticut with Janie, he wasn't first, but he was part of them and he wasn't going to wreck that. What he was going to do, he decided after the rest of them went to visit Janie's father in the hospital tonight, was walk in here boldly and scope out that folder as if it were his business, because he was pretty sure that it was his business. I hope you like the snippet from the book, What Janie Found by Carolyn B. Cooney. And I hope that you check out other books from the library. If you need any help, feel free to call 732-632-8526. I'll see you next week.